Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm finally going to show you the CNC machine that I built and haven't touched since I started my channel. A couple of years ago, I purchased and assembled a C-beam machine from OpenBuilds.com. Now, it's typically used for something like a routing table. There's many different tools and attachments I'd love to install on in the future and, and test out on many new projects. But until this point, I've left it sitting there without ever finishing it off. In this video, I'm going to show you what it took to build it and also all the little modifications that I did in order to get it ready so I can start cranking out projects. So let's get started. Let me show you what it looks like. So as I mentioned, I purchased this machine from the Open Builds website. And if you haven't been to it before, it really is an incredible place with open source hardware, extruded aluminum, and all of the pieces and motors and lead screws and everything that you need in order to build your own CNC machine, whether it's for plasma cutting, laser cutting, any of those things. So you can see here the CB machine that I purchased and all of the specs for it. Now, it was originally designed to mill out aluminum plates. And so you can see here um, an aluminum plate on the bed and you can see you know, all of the specs and things that go with it. The machine is really robust because it was designed to mill out aluminum. It's not, you know, a lightweight machine. All of the motors when they're locked in place, you know, are really solid. You can't even move them by hand without putting a ton of force on them. I was also so impressed with the website, all of the detail and information that's there. There's a the software that's made specifically for open source projects, a cam software and a control software to take your designs and put them into action and actually cut them out. So many different materials that you can use, some of which you can buy on the site. And then when you go into the actual assembly instructions, there's just so much detail, how to build it, how everything fits together, 3D diagrams, models, everything very clearly laid out, no missing parts, everything was just as it was advertised. was so impressed with it. There's even a two hour build video, just under two hours. A YouTube video explains how to do every little piece, how to assemble the wheels, how to put them on place onto the extruded aluminum beams. Everything that you need to know in order to put the machine together is all clearly laid out here. Once you have all of the mechanical part of it assembled, the electronics and software, there's explanations and tutorial how to do that as well. There's example of cutting, and then there's example of parameters and what your settings should be for your Garble controller. Garble is the standard that it uses. It's an Arduino type controller that interprets G-code and makes it uh, control the motors. Now here's a bunch of samples of projects that you can make. And when I put it all together, this is basically what it looked like. I chose to use a RotoZip router. The main reason for that and my starting out with this machine was simply because it came with three different size collets from 1 8 to 3 16 to 1 quarter inch for lots of different tools and bits to try out. For the spoil board, I used the shelves that were left over from my IKEA hack where I took two fully functional IKEA shelving units and cut them down into one. The shelves were left over, perfect for a spoil board. They're all the same size and they'll be easy to change out when they spoil and need to be replaced. I had my own 24 volt power supply, but I used the included hardware in order to mount it on the back side of the X gantry. I 3D printed some mounting clips that fit right into those V slots and then allowed a twist tie or eventually a zip tie to fit through and secure the wiring. As you can see, it keeps all of the wires out of the way so that the X axis can roll by. I also needed to 3D print an enclosure for the controller that I bought because it's an older model. It didn't come with an enclosure. And then I used IKEA lock tables just like I did with my 3D printer enclosure in order to uh, set the whole thing on and provide a solid base. And finally, I 3D printed some clips that also fit into those V slots, which will secure the whole unit to the top of the base and make the whole thing rock solid. As you can see, the finished project looks pretty good, almost like it was meant to go that way. Fits the tabletop perfectly, and it's ready to go for all the projects I can dream of. So that's a quick and simple tour of the machine that I've made, and then I'm going to be using for lots of projects down the road. I can't wait to use the router with all sorts of different kinds of bits, different materials, and even try different kinds of attachments instead of the router and see what I can do with it. Lots of ideas, I just need the time to put it all together. I hope that inspires you to try a CNC machine of your own, or if you already have your own CNC machine, let me know in the comments what you do with it or what projects you're gonna try in the future. If you like the videos we're making, please uh, give them a like, consider subscribing, 
and check back every week as we post a new video. Follow me on Twitter or send me an email. My information's in the description below. Until next time, in all your DIY projects, and especially those ones you keep putting off, get to them. Don't be afraid to be balder.